so diving deeper into transformer models last lecture we saw natural language processing and now let's continue the section transformers what are their capacities capabilities okay so uh, everywhere uh, transformers you will find uh, so in in other languages we have transformer as an electrical component transformer as a, a character you know optimus prime megatron and blah 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 now those movies are quite horrible but even more than that a, a, a huge importance will be given to transformer as ai model and we'll see why okay so transformers most important thing they are general purpose one ai model can do multiple tasks now it might not feel like a big thing but if you imagine us we as humans we are general purpose that's why we can adapt to any life and we can also do so many complicated things because same human can be trained to uh, you know become master in any different things and that knowledge can be combined so general intelligence is amazing quality until now when we were doing in ai we had one purpose so ai solution could only solve one narrow purpose one narrow problem that's why it was called as narrow intelligence now general intelligence so in narrow intelligence you would have worked on uh, its problems you would have uh, done single digit classification which is also called as mnist classification so when you build a model it can just do 0 to 9 digit recognition it can't do any alphabet recognition and it can't even do double digit recognition let alone triple digit or any n digit uh, number uh, uh, recognition it cannot do it has been trained to do single digit recognition and it can only do that transformers on the other hand general intelligence so come uh, now hugging face comes into pictures okay so hugging face has this transformer library so if you check on uh, uh, this hugging face transformers library this is the library this allows you to do all the transformer models which actually exist which are built by community which are released by companies like facebook amazon even go some by google so these models they are ready made and most importantly they are general purpose so hugging face gives you just in one sentence ability to do any of these models and customize them further for your requirement so this is the transformers so transformers are amazing they are general purpose intelligence systems and um, this chapter what can they do goes into details of the, the the how it works in code so we directly jump into code now so let let me show you that code so you simply import the library so this is transformers as a library uh, you can also import it as import transformers as hugging face transformers so this way it we kind of like know that whatever we need is actually coming from hugging face transformers transformer as a architecture is general but uh, we are right now using hugging face so here in the code we said in the slide that hugging face is awesome because in just one sentence you get general purpose intelligence and that model is an open source model wherein co these companies they have spent millions of dollars on building those models millions and in future it they will become even complicated models so all of that is available to you in just one line so the world is starting to at the end which is like starting from data set to pre-processing untrained model training the model uh, processing the result of the trained model and then the final result all of that is just in one thing so if you check I've, i i'll execute this okay so transformers i've uh, uh, imported here in this is the pipeline so i just say pipeline i specify pipeline of what i said this is general purpose so 
the same model we can kind of like tell it oh do i want to do sentiment analysis positive and negative or do i want to do let's say uh, uh, classification into few categories i have chosen or do i want to do summarization or question answering so you see just one thing and it can do multiple things so this is the general purposeness thing and it just in one model you get it so you say pipeline you say sentiment analysis and here i have specified this extra argument so model k kw stands for key word kw let me just say uh, kw stands for key words and these are args means arguments so i'm just saying force download to be true because i want to show you every time we execute this a already trained model is being downloaded from internet for us to use so i download the model and i say i love you and i hate you and of course uh, as we expect it should give us uh, predictions so here the downloading time you if you see it downloads whatever so the the actual mathematical intelligence which we need to download is 268 megabytes so in that it can do sentiment classification sentiment analysis so here i love you the first thing is uh, categorized as positive and the score is 0 0.9998 it is pretty sure it is a positive sentiment and this is negative i hate you it is also quite sure 0 0.9991 so this is in 265 mbs pre-trained model was downloaded from internet and we directly used it so just one sentence pipeline so we have general purpose intelligence at our tips to be uh, for anything we want. We can improve it. We can refine it. This is improvable. That's where fine tuning comes into picture. So starting point, transformers are a starting point for a base intelligence. And on top of it, we build a lot of complexity. So this is amazing start. This is what everything will be built on in future. Okay. So the hugging face course goes into just you know other kinds of uh, tasks it can do because remember we said it is a general purpose thing so these are the general purpose uh, things available and they are just some of the available pipelines if you actually check here you have a lot more in documentation you can find all the things it can do a general purpose intelligence for us so i am going to do go into a bit more details of its nuances so let's continue with the sentiment analysis. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm adding a few different kinds of sentences which have been phrased intelligently. So you are too dumb to be able to do it. So when you say something like this, we can understand that this is a toxic person who is probably being unnecessarily mean. Uh, and th that's why they're saying don't do it. Whereas if you check the next sentence, it's too hard for you. Don't do it. It is the exact same thing, but the 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 internal meaning is uh, quite different in connotations. So if we check and if we send this to the model for the pipeline, here you will find that uh, it 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 properly says negative to both, but the difference will come if you check the scores. So in scores, it does say that this is more negative than the other sentence, 0 0.9969, whereas this was 0 0.9960. But the change was not that much. It scored them both in negatively and the score was quite close to each other. So it is not nuanced enough to separate these two, even though it has correctly classified them. So intelligence, even though it is a general intelligence and it has, uh, it is a ready-made answer giving thing for us, we need to understand its behavior. We need to be able to, you know, fetch it by observing from the experiments we do, right? So this can't do it. Let me uh, show you another example. So one, you are sick right now. Don't do it. So now this is from medical care. You are hurt. Take rest. Don't go to work today. You are hurt, take rest. Here is soup and don't go to work today. So you see, they are all similar, but now the intent of helping and the cause of needing to take rest becomes more and more apparent. So you can identify that even though this is saying don't do it, it is coming from a positive place. 
but in category it still comes as negative and if you check the score in some cases it is higher so you see it's like 0 0.99963 0 0.9977 here so you are sick right now don't do it 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 should have understood implied meaning a bit more but it doesn't so we can then fine tune it to understand nuances, uh, such nuances, then that is our job. So we can take that general intelligence and fine tune it into any direction we want. So this is the absolute fundamental of natural language processing as a domain right now. We have started with, you know, a single task intelligence. And now because we have general task intelligence, it, we have a, a, a amazing first draft solution, which we can refine into whatever we want further. So this is transformer. Just one thing, all you have to give is specify the pipeline you want, and then it is going to give you the uh, uh, appropriate model. It is going to download whatever is relevant, whatever amount of memory. So here, this is a pipeline to kind of like learn to categorize whatever sentences have been given. So we can train the model to say, you know what, I want to divide uh, stuff between science, law and land law. So a very complicated thing, many in our business problems, we can have many such uh, things which we need, maybe ticket classification, maybe customer type classification, it could be whatever, right? So in less than 1.63 GB, you get a model which helps you do this. General purpose intelligence. Oops. Going now, text generation. So here also, if I download this, so let me just execute this. It is now downloading 548 megabytes worth of model, okay, which is going to generate the text of whatever prompt I have given. Now, it might feel like this is going to give me endless answers, but no, all the knowledge this model can give me comes from this 548 megabytes worth of uh, data, which is now into numerical tensors format. If I want a better text generation, I will give a better model uh, which has a bigger memory footprint which has uh, consolidated more knowledge so this here is using gpt2 but we can refine we can choose even more latest ones but as you can see no matter uh, that it still remains one line thing so similarly we have this uh, named entity recognition it is called a better way to say is like, you know what, this is noun, this is the keyword, this is uh, related to that. Some some most important uh, type of things we have, keywords we have in sentence, that is what uh, it has. Then we have question answering, then we have summarization, we have, uh, we already have uh, talked about text generation. So this transformers library, it kind of like can do all this because it is a general purpose intelligence system on which we can refine it further. So this is the uh, introduction to transformers, which is like a, a third sub point in this chapter number one. Then we have how do these transformers work and these other architectures like encoder decoder. And then that finishes our chapter one, where we have introduction to transform models with hugging face. So in next video, we go into transformers in a bit more detail.